Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome back to yet another song reaction. This is taken from my September submissions on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions, just so everyone knows songs are closed until April, because I have a lot of songs to get through. Also, if you like doing any of the things that are on the screen to this video or to me, go ahead and do them, bro, gal, whatever. I don't know, I'm trying my best here. Fei Wong, Mori. No idea who this was. Uh, and then I looked her up and I, I, I was like, whoa. Um, one of the most popular Chinese pop artists ever. Um, heavily involved with Cocteau Twins as well. Um, <coughs> as you can see, uh, Hong Kong edition contained a duet version of Serpent Skirt sung by Elizabeth Fraser with Fei Wong. And she later recorded an acoustic, acoustic version of Real Key and Heart for her 1997 album, Fei Wong, on which Guthrie and Raymond also wrote a new song. So this comes from a 1996 album, Fuzeo, Fuzao, don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to butcher all of these, but that's okay because I'm, a, I'm you know, one of those white Americans. Um, so it's the ninth track, ninth track on here. As you can see, we got all of Cocteau Twins helping out. Uh, yeah, I am really intrigued, really excited about this. Um, also, if you, if you're new to my channel, I have reacted to every Cocteau Twins album. So you can go onto my channel and my playlist or just search Cocteau Twins. If you want to watch my reactions to Co Cocteau Twins, you can go do that. Um, but without further ado, let's switch on over here. I'm very excited to hear this because I think it's going to be freaking fantastic if Cocteau Twins are involved. Um, and I, I enjoy the, uh, the, the dream pop attempts from like uh, the, would you call them the oriental areas, Japan, China? I don't know exactly what falls under that umbrella, but uh, like I love Fishman's reacted to uh, Long Season and the live album on this uh, channel as well, if you want to check that out, uh, from Japan, I believe, right? And here we have uh, Chinese pop. Um, I, I dig the vibe of uh, Chinese and Japanese music uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, I haven't heard a ton of um, Chinese, but, uh, you know, it's a first time for everything, right? So without further ado, let's give it a shot. Because there's English subtitles. Feel really far down. Definitely channeling uh, Elizabeth Fraser here. I assume this is Fei Wong singing, right? Because it sounds a lot like Fraser. 
Let me know who's singing. Pardon me, I am dying, but not really. Very late Eric Cocteau twins. Um, I I struggled with Milk and Kisses a little bit because it lacks oomph. Milk and Kisses is arguably one of the more ambient of the ambient pop albums that Cocteau twins ever did, I would say. Um, aside from like Victoria Land, but I would say that's more just straight ambient at times. Uh, it doesn't really ain't, but Victoria Land isn't really a pop album, I would say. Uh, this is right in line with, um, I don't know, there's kind of like a crossover. Like Milk and Kisses kind of went back and did some of the stuff that they were doing on like Bluebell Knoll a little bit, but the, the production is, is very much Milk and Kisses era as well. It was good. I liked it. Um, did she sing? Was she the singer? Music, lyrics? I don't know. I don't know. What'd you do? Maybe if I go here? No, I need the previous album. Hold on. Fuseo. Uh, all written by Fei Wong unless otherwise noted. Writ written by her. Okay, but I don't know if she's saying it. I don't know. Um, her sound and aesthetic was a heavy influence. Interesting. Um, no, it was good. It was good. Um, I didn't love it because Milk and Kisses isn't necessarily my favorite era of Cocteau Twins. I prefer Treasure, Heaven in Las Vegas. But <coughs> I'm a normie. What can I say? But this was nice. This was a pleasant discovery. I'm glad I kind of came, came across this. And I'm eager to see if there's any more interesting stuff with Fei Wong uh, in the future. Very, very, very pleasant, pleasant surprise discovery. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Again, if you want to do this stuff, go ahead and do it. If you don't, uh, feel bad. Anyway, I'm going to leave. Uh, I got errands to run, places to do, places to see people to do. Um, yeah. Goodbye.